our family name once so well regarded is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Darkest Dungeon. Well, a quick little bit, a tidbit of info uh, here at the beginning. I'm considering changing the format of the videos for Darkest Dungeon. Up until now, I have been dragging y'all along through every detail of the Hamlet management part of the game, and I feel like that that is making my videos way too long. Uh, most folk are just in it to see what happens in the dungeons anyway, in my opinion. If I'm wrong about that, please let me know down in the comments, and uh, I will uh, amend my opinion again. But yeah, I think that uh, what we'll start doing from here on out is that we'll open up here uh, with if there's an event with the event. If there's no event, we'll go straight into here to the activity log, take a look at uh, what happened in the Hamlet last time, right? So we recovered stress, uh, cured rabies, cured uh, some negative quirks. Wonderful. Uh, we've got controlled thirsting, controlled, controlled thirsting, thirsting, drink, drink. Okay. So we'll look at it through here, the activity log, and then that will be the end of it. I will go through the hamlet, I will take care of stress, I will get rid of negative quirks, I will select the dungeon, set it up, get everybody upgraded for their skills and equipment, and then before we leave the hamlet, I will show you guys the named party that I've assembled and the trinkets that we have assigned to them, and then uh, we'll just jump straight into the dungeon from there. So that way y'all can get the update of what happened uh, last time through the activity log, and we can skip all of this superfluous uh, nonsense. The stuff that you've seen a thousand times already, which arguably you've seen the dungeons uh, attacked a thousand times already. But um, that's the more exciting uh, portion of the video anyway. So I feel like that's going to help uh, reduce my uh, video length as well. So it may appeal to more of the newer uh, sort of viewers who haven't delved into it with me because you know I'm putting out like 40 and 50 minute videos sometimes an hour before uh, like this this past week I cut the video in half because it was an hour and like five minutes long altogether but cutting it into two episodes the Hamlet took up almost half of the first episode so I think that this is going to help uh, kind of reduce the trash or the uh, extraneous stuff so if, if you don't like that, if you want to see every second that I'm in the Hamlet, then let me know down in the comments, and I will uh, keep it in. But we're going to try it out this way at least one time, just to see how it goes over uh, with everybody. And yeah, uh, y'all will know what happened uh, by the activity log, so technically you won't be missing anything, uh, just the gritty details. So let's get into it. Alright, so here we have the team marked for death. Uh, all of these characters uh, benefit from marked targets, which is fantastic. We're headed into the Warrens to activate three animalistic shrines in order to trigger the Fresh Air in the Tunnels event. That way we can go ahead and uh, take on the Swine God uh, next time. This is the one with Wilbur. Uh, it will be a tough fight, but I think with all level 6 dudes on our roster, basically, uh, we're pretty well set. Um... Yeah, we have a couple of level 5s. We're taking in a level 4. Before we get into that, though, let's take a look at the abilities that we've uh, given him here. I actually uh, didn't uh, swap these yet, so he'll have that one, and I believe um, Uppercut, why not? So that'll be a move. He'll have Bleeding ability. Uh, finish him and Collect Bounty for a bit of bonus. This does reduce protection. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, his is a greater reduction in protection, and then we have the typical attack abilities for him. I think instead of Lick Wounds, uh, we may give him the... let's see. This doesn't increase his stun ability. I'm giving him this Resolve XP increase because he is the level 4, so we'll keep an eye out for that. We'll take Cry Havoc for a little bit of stress relief for everybody. I think that affects him as well. If it doesn't, I'll switch it out for something else. Then we have the typical... Um, stuff for this guy. I don't know about the sacrificial stab, but we have the two hexes that he usually takes. This one reduces dodge, marks targets of course, 
Um, I may... Let's see... I may swap that out for the Abyssal Artillery. We'll see how that works out for us. Uh, she can reduce dodge even more uh, than he can with this marked target. So we may take that instead of rallying Flare, and then of course her sniper shot. She'll be bandaging. She has the uh, healing skill Medic Greaves. Uh, Bullseye Bandana. I didn't look at these. Reduces stress by 20%. It decreases his death blow resistance, which is a little bit questionable. It's below 50% right now, which I don't enjoy. But we're taking in this increased healing skills, uh, increased stress. So I'm trying to offset that stress, and hopefully that increased healing skills will keep him alive. And we won't have to worry about the death blow resistance. He's got the increased damage in position 1. Reduces crit and speed a little bit, but it should be okay. Uh, increased stress heal received while camping, and increased scouting chance. So he's got stress uh, heal ability, uh, stress redu reduction there. Plan takedown. I, we are likely to run into size two enemies here, but it's not super, uh, super prevalent. Increase the scouting chance we might take, but this reduction in surprise is more important. And if we look here, we've got the Hound's Watch prevents a nighttime ambush, which is very important. We've got more stress healing abilities as well as Man's Best Friend, which is self only. Uh, therapy Dog might be preferable, and in fact. I think we may as well go unlock that. We'll replace man's best friend for that. Okay, so we've got Therapy Dog in there now. As a matter of fact, I may swap Encourage for this, just in case he ends up getting under an impressive amount of stress, because he is the lowest level character going into a level 6 dungeon here. Uh, yeah, remove mortality debuffs is very important, so we'll keep that going. Uh, Band in Hope I don't think is going to be very important, but we've got a little bit of wound care and uh, stress relief. This also prevents nighttime ambush but causes stress, so his nighttime ambush prevention will be preferable. Uh, she's got triage here and field dressing. We could do marching plan, uh, but I think that this is a pretty decent combination of skills. And then we looked at these already. So this is how we're going in, marked for death. Make sure we're in the right one. We get some busts out of this one, so that'll be pretty nice. We'll take our typical uh, setup. Three of these. I didn't see. Yeah, he's wasting. She's craving already. So maybe we'll even take four. We have two wasting heroes in town. A couple of those. Oops. That'll be fine. We'll take five of them. A couple of them. And then some keys also. I don't... Item can't be sold. Okay, but I can't... I can't just throw them away either, which is a bit of a shame. Because I, I would like to have some holy water, but maybe we'll find some while we're in there. We've got a full load here, so hopefully we run into some quest items right off the bat. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to skip curios until we do, because we have no room for anything. Uh, two... Two shovels might not be enough. All right, so let's cross our fingers and hope we've got it made here. 45% scouting chance as well, which is nice. The swine draw power from their horrid markings and crude idols. Tear them down. Okay, a little bit of scouting right off the bat. I actually only meant to click on him and then right click on the blood to feed him. Let's see if we can identify a uh, quest location right away. Yes, right over here. Perfect, so let's go do that one first. It looks like a pretty small dungeon compared to some of the medium-sized ones that we've seen before. Oh yeah. Good old compulsive. Ugh, we need these busts too. I'm getting rid of the dog treats because I know I'm not going to remember to use them. Though I probably should, because he is a low-level character, so any bonus that we could get for him would be beneficial to us. Alright, uh, let's just start with multiple attacks here. We just want to do as much damage as we can right off the bat. Wow. Okay, go ahead and have some blood then. I didn't realize you were going to be so thirsty all of a sudden. Ugh. For being spiders, I don't expect them to have such um, high health, but these guys do at level 6. 
He's resisting, which is good. Do we uppercut? Try to uh, stun the man? Oh, it did not work at a 65% resistance. Nice dodge. I'm sure that does bonus damage uh, when he's marked like that. Let's see if we can get a little bit of bleeding in. We did. Okay, they're not quite dead yet, though. And we will need to um, try to get that going. Let's try and heal. Wow. Vigor is restored. Yeah. That was a huge heal. I never expected that. Even with Junia's head, I just don't don't ever see them healing that much. Well, I take that back. I think I've seen in the Darkest Dungeon we healed for 69 a couple of times uh, within a cultist, I believe. Yeah, because the... Um, why is Collect Bounty way over here? I feel like these are all out of sorts. I feel like it should be Collect Bounty, Finish Him, Uppercut, and Caltrips like that. Uh, but for whatever reason, it isn't arranged that way. It's very confusing to me. Uh, no, we'll probably hit better and kill uh, with the rush. Maintain the offensive. Okay, sadly we don't have any room for any of this. Horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Um, I don't like the idea of getting rid of half a stack of food, but um, getting some money would be kind of nice to recover what we've invested so far. Let's take... Well, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, this is correct, because we're using this to break this down. Man, I'll get it figured out one of these days. That worked, right? I think so. It doesn't look any different to me. Maybe it does. All right. So we know there aren't any quest locations around here. It only makes sense to go this direction then. We'll try to ignore as much as we can on our way over. I'm letting this tick down because we've brought the curio that allows him to have better chances of scouting at a torch below 50. One. So at 50 is where he's better. Wow, no scouting? Okay. We'll torch up and continue on around the outside. Around the outside. Fight harder in the dark, that's true. And this may not be advisable with him being such a low level. We might end up uh, killing him if we're going in low light. Knowing uncertainty. Okay. The birthplace of dread. Go ahead and burn one for us. Uh, do you want to... No, they don't really have high dodge. They have high protection. So maybe we forget about that and just focus on uh, killing. I probably ought to focus on this man because he is quite powerful. Does a lot of damage with that tentacle devour. After he weakens spray. Let's go ahead with the Hound's Rush. No, let's target Whistle to further reduce his protection, which he didn't have and I didn't know this in time. We're going to collect bounty on him. Nice. Precision and power. That's the kind of damage output I expect from a bounty hunter, for sure. No! Okay, he's weakened and he's marked, which is bad. This man will... Oh, he's howling again. Okay, just trying to stress this out. Of all the things that he could be doing, I uh, worry about that the least. So, it's fine with me. He's gonna live. Uh, he resisted the bleeding somehow. I don't know... I don't know how he gets away with that, but he did. Let's, uh, yeah, just shoot him. I know he's not marked yet, but we'll get him. We'll get him hit one time. He won't be able to reach him. Monster's size has no intrinsic merit because of the corpse, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Okay, he's weakened, but he's still protected. Uh, we'll go ahead and mark him with her, even though it's probably not ideal. Alright, now we'll rush him. There we go. Bit of resistance there, still. Uh, try the old Abyssal Artillery on him. Two damage, amazing. They really like targeting the Occultist. And now he's stunned, that's horrific. Uh, if he's not going to be able to heal himself. We're in a bit of a bind. She can do it, but yeah, that's how much. Which, he doesn't have a lot of health to begin with, so 
it it makes it makes a bit of a difference whenever she heals him. Festering fear consumes the mind. Sure it does. Oh, he dodged that one. I thought that we had reduced his dodge with another character. But cursed champion falls. That debuff must have ended. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll take this. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. And that should be it for now. I'll torch up after we get in to the room, even though it might be a battle. Okay, yeah, we've scouted a curio, but no, um, no thing else yet. What? Okay, I believe that's a yeah positive quirk, but sadly it means uh, no trinkets. And I need these on him. We don't have any room in our inventory right now, so... Thankfully, it doesn't give him a debuff, does it? No. It's all positive things when he's not wearing trinkets, but it doesn't matter if he is. Oh. Thought he had a better chance of disarming than that. It's still 90%. We'll give it to the 80% so that he can get a little bit of a relief there. Yeah, still below 51. Wow. Very minimal, our scouting so far. Nice two for two on the disarms. And we're back to manageable levels of stress. Okay, we'll take that. Is it below? Not quite. If I lit up, it would be at 51, I think. Curio, Curio, quest location over here. Okay, we're headed straight over then. Oh yeah. Uh, probably ought to light up. In fact, we could light up quite a lot before this battle. Let's see how we go. Like, we could just go ahead and torch up. And then jump in. Oh no. We only have two cursed characters. Don't do this. Nice dodge. Good job. Don't do this. Oh, got him. Yep. Figures. Figures. I traded him uh, for a cursed character so that we could get a cursed character off of our roster. And look what's happened. First, first time out of the gate. First dungeon he delves into. He's cursed. I hate it so much. The Crimson Curse is just the most disgusting DLC that I've seen for any game in my life. I've said it a hundred times, and I'll say it a hundred more times. I don't even care. It's the worst. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I do like some of the trinket, uh, trinket sets, right? This looks pretty awesome. It has really minor... Versus bleeding. Okay. Has really minor negatives to him, so it uh, helps out a lot, but. Wow is. Wow is this a pain. The bloodsuckers are the worst enemies. Oh, yeah. I should have healed myself instead of attacking. Yep. Oh, it's maddening. Okay. Good dodge. Nice. Uh, do we harry hounds? No, I think we go for a kill over here. It didn't work. He's taking four damage, though, so he will die. Okay, claims we won't survive. I almost clicked on her, too. That was a close... Almost a misclick. Uh, go ahead and whack this man if you can. Good job. Of course, he gets to go before the bounty hunter can get the bonus damage against him, but what can you do? Nothing. I'll tell you right now, nothing. Nice dodge. Uh, go ahead and heal yourself. Good. Go ahead and rush this man. Try to stack that bleed. Doesn't seem significant enough so far. Good shot. He's down to one health, of course. Um... We're not going to do a lot of damage to him. Yep. 
Ugh. He's gonna be afflicted soon. We might have to camp uh, before we go too much further. And go ahead and heal him. Yeah, 17 is really good. He resisted the bleeding, thankfully. Ugh. For being these, these guys, Obliterated. this has been a lot worse of a battle than I had ever hoped for it to be. Good job. He should be dead now. He is. Uh, go ahead and punch the man. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Okay. This is a little bit sad, but I think we're going to have to leave this for now. Is this the quest location? It is. Alright, maybe we do go ahead and go and we'll camp here when we get in here. Oh wow, okay. I was fully expecting a battle. Uh, but no, no such thing. That's good. Decimated. Okay, it doesn't change. I thought it crumbled down and uh, this ring would be on the ground and these would be falling into shambles, but it doesn't. Okay, full feast. A moment of respite. A chance to steel Good. oneself against the coming horrors. Uh, go ahead with Watchdog. Hounds Watch. Therapy Dog. That's only for his friends, though. That doesn't help him. And then, best friend. Tell me we have enough for an uh, pep talk. That yeah, only costs two. Now we have uh, one speed or res respite respite whatever it's not enough time for us to do anything else so that's all right favored by the gods i suppose larder is well stocked that's right we have tons of food still a stack and two the way is lit the path is clear we require only the strength to follow it okay let me make sure that i didn't uh, accidentally miss any dang Okay, so it's got to be down this hallway or uh, this one. We'll make it. We don't have any holy water, so I'll just skip that. It'll be tough trying to remember where the treasure is on the way back. Maybe uh, maybe with these battles, we won't have to, though. Here, here it is, the last quest location right here. Nice. Yeah, we have three empty spots here. A boon at last. That's correct. We're going to continue because I'm not satisfied. Uh, we'll keep the torch up now, because we've scattered out pretty much the whole dungeon. So I'm not too worried. Alright, let's artillery these abyssals. Whoa. How to rush this man, specifically uh, because he needs to die. Do we have a chance? It's a 90% resistance. I don't like those odds. How are we looking? 79%, 8 to 17 damage. Same. We can reach this man, though. Whack. Alright, he's almost dead. Uh, shoot this guy. Just kill him, please. I hate them so much, and I don't want more stress. Oh, much. Blighted as well. Nice dodge. Good job. Let's see a dodge. I know you're only level 4. Alright. It's gonna have to be okay. Uh, go ahead and mark one of these so that we can get some bonus damage on him. Uh, you're going to finish off this man. Good job. I didn't ever... Oh, that was the wrong man. Okay. I knew that Blind Fire selected a random target, but I didn't think it would kill him. Nice dodge. Right. Uh, we've got three anti-venom, so we'll go ahead and gear up. Uh, let's go Hounds Harry. It'll kill this one and he'll As be bled. Oh, he resisted though, so he won't blossoms. be bled. What are we looking at here? Six more damage? I think he can take it. 79% chance. I guess that is pretty low. But wow. All right. Heal him since I said he could take it. Uh, you can have an anti-venom. And then uh, go ahead and reduce his dodge, because apparently it's too high for the bounty hunter to hit anything. Don't munch him. Good dodge. Excellent work. Go ahead with the single target. Decimated. Good. 
I don't want those trinkets. I really don't. I don't a even want to pick them up. Often attracts unwanted attention. What was this? That was the the skin, right? No, this was the skin. Oh, it's an egg sack. Gross. Okay, no scouting apparently. Well, let's go to this room battle with treasure. Let's go ahead and collect this up. Okay. Wealth beyond measure. No, it was 500 gold. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Tell me that we didn't scout that. Alright, all pig people. This is what I expect when I come into the Warrens. None of that bloodsucker nonsense. I want all pig people. That's all. All pig people all the time. That's so gruesome. Just a face stretched across the drum. Ugh. Okay. We're gonna make somebody vulnerable. Or do we want to weaken? Reduce protection? It's pretty high protection around here. Um. No. We'll get him marked. Uh, you can go ahead with the Harry. Get everybody started bleeding. Including this, uh, sneaky man. Don't cut my butcher. Oh, good dodge. This guy really does a lot of damage, too. Ugh. What's his... That's the only ability that he has? I think they have a high crit chance or something, because they normally really mess us up. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay, good shot. He's still got too much health, though. Six health left. One more, um... Hound's Harry will do him, though. Assuming he doesn't resist the bleed. Yeah, look at that. Oh. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. We've come so far, too. Okay. He's our lowest uh, level character, so that's the reason why he's suffering so much. Oh, and they've decided to all focus fire him. They were focusing on the occultists at the beginning. Nice crit. He is bleeding, but it's to be expected, right? We'll give him a bandage. And go ahead and Harry Hounds these men. Good, good. So he should be dead. And yeah, we'll chip chop on this fool. Okay, I would love to mark uh, that far back guy. Alright, nice dodge. We don't need any more crits from him. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay. I'm gonna mark him. Okay, we're going to. Uh, weaken this man. Ugh, I was hoping it would be the other guy. There we go. We still did enough damage even without a bonus. And then he's got... Nice, perfect. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Alright, whole bunch of goodness. Nobody's bleeding. You you actually have the lowest health. So we'll have you eat the food. We'll take the crests. We'll open this with a key... Oh, beautiful. The uh, busts are all important. Uh, more crests are going to be ideal. And then, you know, we might as well get rid of those. We have enough food. We can't carry that last one. Okay. So we don't need to look for a lot more treasure to fill up our goodies. We're not going in here. A level 6 shambler is not on the menu. For us, not with a level 4 dude in our midst. Okay. Now we could just backtrack and pick up treasure. I'm sorely tempted to do that just because he's going to end up being on his last legs soon. It's a curio, but there's two... There's three battles in this hallway. We only have reduced stress for two more battles. We could do this one, or we could just pick up treasure. And I'm, I'm inclined to just go pick up treasure. It's not only because I'm a weenie, but because uh, I don't want this level 4 dude to die. The darkness holds much worse than mere trickery and boogeyman. Oh, empty. I figured if I snuffed the torch, we would get real treasure out of these things, but the game doesn't seem to want to uh, give me that. You wonder how this works. It's a backpack. Two empty packs after snuffing the torch. 
That's pretty garbage, if you ask me. Oh, no. We've had a random battle pop up in the hallway. I guess we could take it. Though I probably ought to torch up before we do. The light. The promise of oh, safety. Oh, three of these men. Surprise them as well. Uh, yeah, we'll mark and reduce their... Dodge. He resisted, though. Um, no worry. Get everybody. They have pretty high health, but we will... We will take them down. I know that he's marked, but the bounty hunter can't hit the backliner. So, we'll hit him instead. Two health left, of course. Of course, we couldn't just kill him outright. We have to endure three attacks now instead of only two. Probably Blight as well. Aha! Nice resistance there. Good. I didn't expect him to go first, but they sure in the heck are. It's not fair. Nice dodge. We should be faster than a uh, piglet. Here. Get so healed. Okay. Just shoot anybody. You missed. Um, yeah, we'll kill them both. And slap this man. No, I said slap that man. You failed. Failed in your duties. Why can't she mark... Why can't she mark the frontliner? That doesn't make any sense. We'll heal. Uh, go ahead and weaken him then. I should have made him vulnerable to reduce his dodge so that the bounty hunter could actually hit. But I'm rushing instead of thinking about things. There you go. Speaking of rush... Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Uh, we don't need any shovels. Okay, of course he compulsively opened it. For a task well performed. We don't have enough food uh, for a whole hunger check, so we'll just take these and continue on. And in fact, our pockets are just about lined. We have two spaces that we could get rid of something. Or three, if we toss the torches also. Uh, this was a skins. This was an eggs. Uh, this requires the bandages. Aha! Okay, that's enough for another hunger check. Don't have room for it. Uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't treasure, right? It was a curio. So I don't think we'll need the keys for anything. We'll take the 500 gold. And yeah, we'll As the light take gains that. purchase. Spirits are lifted. Skip the food for now. That purpose is made clear. There wasn't any blood. I'm tempted to do one more battle. At least we'll see what the treasures are and then uh, if it's not worth it uh, we'll skip into this room and try a fight. Ouch. Wow. Oh, this might have been a bad call. We're marking this man. Kill him. Oh, he's got so much health. Harry. I probably should have focused on him. Is that even worth it? 90% resistance? I don't think so. 7 to 14. Can we reach this man? 5 to 11. Maybe we just start hacking. Yeah, crippled them. Nice dodges. Wonderful. I was not expecting that. Ball and chain. Oh, resist the sun, please. Good. Nope. Oh, good dodge. Excellent. That was a really good round. Uh, let's see. Has damage versus Eldritch, but none of these guys are. Uh, we could weaken. Weakening any of these guys will be good. We'll weaken him. 
He resisted, so we didn't weaken him. Okay, another good dodge. Excellent. Uh, we're gonna Hounds Rush this guy. There we go. Okay, two. No, we're killing him. I can't, uh, I can't skip it. Okay, Ball and Chain must be his backline move. That's all he can do from back there. Oh, he did get stunned. Okay. And they're focusing him now. Since he can't heal himself, I guess. Alright, chop. Okay, unstunned. You're gonna get uh, patched up. I almost misclicked again. Almost, thankfully being the keyword. Let's just straight attack this man. Only seven, but he's taking four damage over time. Only ten damage there, but what can you do? Ugh. Debuffed for reduced crit. That's not that bad. Wow. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Come on, at least uh, resist the stun this time. Okay, good job. So you can heal yourself next turn. Yeah. Go ahead and stack this man again. 15 and 4. Um. No. Yeah. Okay. Uh, word reconstruction yourself. Even though they're focusing on him, if they continue to focus on him, then we'll just continue to uh, focus healing. Nice. And she's good at resisting this stunt. Wow. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Hamage, you're not lost. You're going to be fine. Just hang in there, buddy. Eight. Gross. He's still only taking four, and he's at 11. All right. You're going to heal him. 19. That's excellent. A death denied. For now. Okay. You're going to shoot him. Good job. And keep chopping. He dodged with a 21. Yeah, we get him all you want. That's one of your weakest attacks, so I don't even care. We'll I'm, I'm pleased about that. Resisted the bleeding, though. Well, yeah, 100% resistance, I only noticed. Yes, now. Oh. Okay, anything. There we go. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Man, that was a tough fight. I wasn't expecting it to be that, uh, that rough. Let's take this. Let's take these. We can swap those in for busts, and that's what we really need. And let's get out of here. Robbed of their writings, the swine will grow ever more ignorant. If such a thing were possible. That's right. Okay. Come on. There we go. Okay, 16 crests, 4 deeds, 5 portraits, 10 busts, plus the 5 busts. A uh, repeat restraining padlock. This is our third one, so it'll be sold. 9,000 gold uh, for a total of 21,500. Fantastic. Hamage got cursed on his first dungeon, of course. That wasn't even in the courtyard. Uh, tough. Increase the max HP. That's fantastic. And it's not a replacement perk, so that's wonderful. Cove Scrounger. Uh, increased scouting chance in the cove. Pretty negligible. I guess it'll come in handy, but... And look at his XP, too. 18 resolve XP. He's almost level 6 from level 4, so that's pretty fantastic. Fast healer. Uh, increased healing skills while camping. Replaced Eldritch Hater, which is a little bit sad. Uh, that would have been a good one to keep around for Darkest Dungeon, but we just have to deal with it now. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description, and feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time that you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.